Here's a trivia question. Who or what did director John Ford make a star as a result of his 1939 movie, Stagecoach? If you said John Wayne, you'd be correct. He definitely was B-list before then. But there's another answer. Want a hint? I said who or what. I'm talking about the place. Monument Valley. 92,000 acres filled with colossal sandstone formations straddling the Arizona-Utah state line. Iconic thanks to John Ford and the nine films he made here. There are certain places in the world that seem like special effects. They don't seem real. They seem too perfect. And the first time you come here, you see it through John Ford's eyes. Film historian Over Scott Eyman has written a biography of Ford and one of John Wayne out in April. The American settlers never came here. This was Navajo territory. But as a metaphor, for the American conquest of space and of, of the continent, this is the American West. This spot is now known as John Ford's Point. So in the climax of the searchers, near the climax of the searchers, the Indian village is down below, uh -huh. over there in the wash. John Wayne and Ward Bond and the rest of his men sneak up here to reconnoiter. In a Western, the landscape is a character. You might make the statement that in a Western, the landscape's the most important character. And in a Ford Western, Monument Valley coexists with John Wayne. So how did John Ford find his way here? The story goes that in 1938, Harry Goulding and his wife Leona, known to all as Mike, drove to Hollywood with a portfolio of photographs that Harry talked his way in to see Ford, showed him the pictures, and convinced him to make Stagecoach in Monument Valley, where the Gouldings ran a trading post. This was actually Mike Goulding's potato cellar. <laughs> it was just a rough structure that they built to store food. And Ford thought, well, why build a set for uh, John Wayne's office? Let's just use this, and she wore a yellow ribbon. And there's several scenes in the film where he comes charging out of the front door and walks down there to start his day. Well, carry on. To make a film here, John Ford had to haul in an entire tent city to accommodate cast and crew. He hired the Navajo, who lived around Monument Valley, to play Apaches and Comanches, and famously paid this tribal medicine man to intervene with the gods to order up whatever weather Ford wanted for his shoots. Larry Holliday is the great-great-grandson of that medicine man. Movie buffs may call Monument Valley Ford country, or God's studio. But for the Navajo, it is a sacred place. Mama Valley, it's like heaven on earth. It cleans you. Cleans you, really? That's, 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 that's the way I feel. What's the word for Monument Valley in Navajo? Say, be in this His translation, the sands that light up the valley. A park within the Navajo Nation, there's a rough, unpaved road through Monument Valley. This will give you an idea how big the buttes are. They have names like the Three Sisters, the Totem Pole, the Mittens. A few families still live here, but there's no electricity or running water, so life is hard. Helen Salazar is 78 and speaks almost no English. She makes her living demonstrating traditional Navajo ways and selling the rugs she weaves to tourists, some of whom undoubtedly look out the door of her hogan and see the opening shots of the searchers.
It is largely because of the movies, according to park officials, that more than 450,000 visitors come to Monument Valley every year. At least 70% of them from outside the United States. Its starring role didn't end when John Ford stopped coming here. Right where we're sitting, this is there? where they've done the uh, Back to the Future. Half the fun of coming to Monument Valley is trying to match up shots. The landscape with Forrest Gump and without him. The serenity of the desert, wrecked by Chevy Chase in National Lampoon's vacation. This is no way to run a desert! <laughs> Since John Ford's day, this landscape has made an appearance in nearly two dozen films. All right, let's do this. When you see Monument Valley in a movie, how do you feel? Hey, that's home. <laughs> Epic westerns have gone out of style, but Monument Valley hasn't. As they say, the camera loves it. So why not borrow its grandeur? <laughs> 